In this video, we're going to have a look at some interesting Torah statistics and then use them to figure out the gematria or the number value of the entire Torah. So the entire five books of Moses. Uh, but first, let's uh, have a look at this chart and some basic statistics. So we have here in this column the words, the amount of words found in these five books of Moses here, the five books of the Torah, and here's how many letters are in each book. And then they come to these totals. Um, but one thing that stood out to me immediately when I looked at this was the fact that Exodus has maybe a few hundred more letter words than numbers. So here, 16,723 words versus 16,368 words. But Exodus has one less, uh, one less letter than numbers. So we see here 63,529 versus 63,530. So there is literally one letter difference between Exodus and numbers. And here are our totals. The total number of letters in the five books is 304,805. Again, this is the number of letters just in those five books. But this number is interesting to me because it's very similar. And this is just kind of a weird coincidence. Um, it's similar to the number of words found in the entire Hebrew Bible. So the massive book has 304,901 words, but the Torah has 304,805 letters. So there's less than 100. The difference between the two is less than 100. Uh, and when you're talking about a book that massive, it's kind of surprising, some of these uh, st stats. Again, you can see that they have this really ancient book, and they know how many words are in it and how many uh, letters. It's quite uh, astonishing. So let's move down now, and you'll see the frequency which you can find each letter and how many times it shows up in the Torah. So we see here, here's your letter Aleph, and it exists 27,057 uh, times in the Torah. And it goes on down for every letter. Now you can use these stats to then figure out the number value of the entire Torah. And how you do this is take uh, this number, the amount of times it shows up, and times it or multiply it by the value of these letters in Gematria. So we know that Aleph is 1, and then 2, 3, on down to 10, and then it becomes 20, 30, 40, on down to 90, and then 100. And then it goes from 100 to 200, 300, and then finally the letter Tav is 400. So it ranges from 1 to 400. And again, you can take the amount of times it shows up and multiply it by that value, which will then give you the value of the entire Torah. And I've actually done this a few times over the years. Uh, and here's what I've come up with uh, most recently. So again, 27,057 is the number of times the letter Aleph, Aleph shows up and it has the value 1, so you multiply it by 1. And then on down for the whole thing, and you get to 10, 20, 30, 40, to 100. And you see all these totals. And then you would simply add up the totals, which gives you a final of 21,011,144. So this, according to uh, the calculations and according to the statistics is the final uh, number value of the entire Torah.